When I was a kid, one of my favorite things to do was look at the moon or look at the stars with this little telescope that I had. It wasn't a great image, but I still had fun. And we're going to learn about how telescopes work with Sarah Buter, and you're a student at St. Pius School, and you're actually an astronomy enthusiast, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And we have something special this year because it's Galileo's 400th anniversary of using a telescope. Oh, and there's different kinds of telescopes, right? right. You we got have, a couple of them here. We right? have two different types of telescopes, and they use two different types of things. We have our reflector telescope, which uses a mirror, and our refractor telescope, which uses lenses. Okay. And today we're going to learn how to build some basic telescopes. All right, so we're going to learn how telescopes work. So let's step over here, and you've got this great demo. And we're going to kind of walk through, because we're going to talk about lenses and mirrors and all that kind of stuff. So how do we get started? Well, first we're going to build our refractor telescope, which uses lenses. Okay. And two of the most important points of a telescope are to magnify an object and to brighten an object. That so makes sense. We yep. have our object over here, which is our moon. Okay, so all, you've got a flashlight and you've cut out a shape to represent the moon. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Simple. So let's start out by finding our magnifying lens. So we have two lenses right here and if you want to like feel them, observe them. Okay, one is definitely thicker. Alright, so I'm gonna guess that this one magnifies. If yeah? you want to check it on the side too, you can... Oh yeah, like look at the numbers there. Okay, looks like... That well, looks good to me. So now what do we do? Do I clip this on here? Well, why, yeah, you go ahead and click okay. on there. So, right. if it's not exactly the thickness that mm. makes this more magnified. But the shape? But the shape. Okay. And so, for that, we have these sticks here. And if you think of this as a straight piece of glass, and this light comes in here, yep. the light just goes straight out, and these are the, and it just goes like that. Okay. But if you have a curved mirror, the light bends. Ah, okay. And all the sticks come together at one point. And so, all the light comes together at one point, which, right. okay. That and this sense. point right here where my fingers are, yep. that's called the focal point. Okay. All right. So Good. we found our magnifying lens. Yep, so now did. it's time to find our lens that brightens it, which is just as important. Okay. So we have these two lenses here. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to take this one off. Um, okay. Would you mind putting this one on the, here? This one? I'll put this one on the side. Oh, okay. And so we need to find the one which would be better suited. Ah, okay. All right. So what we're going to do with this is to find the brighter one. Mm. We want to compare the brightness. So we're going to have to bring this into its focal point. Yeah. So we're just going to slide it. Oh, I see the image there. Okay. Do you want to do this one? Yeah. Let's see. Oh. Mm. Like somewhere in there maybe? Uh, how about right, right about there? That okay. looks good. So okay. which one do you think would be our better lens? Well, it looks to me like the image from this lens looks brighter than this one. So why, why do you think that would be, though? I'm guessing because it's big. Right. <laughs> so we have a little, another demonstration for you. Okay. Let's imagine that your eye is about the diameter of a straw, which okay. we have over here. Yes, we do. And let's say you're going out in a rainstorm, and you have to gather as many raindrops as you can with a straw. It'd be pretty hard, wouldn't yes, it? Yes, it would be. Yeah. So is there something else that we can use instead? To, that would better better gather gather raindrops rather than the straw like a bucket or something really wide right so we have some funnels here ah and a funnel like is these. similar to a lens and I'll have the yellow one okay first. so if this is a telescope lens it's gonna draw in more light much more light yeah so the bigger yep. one draws in even more even light. more light okay that makes sense yeah got it instead of just a little narrow field okay great so we have our lens that brightens and yep. now we're going to take our magnifying lens and have this image be magnified so what's going happening now is the light is coming here and is being brightened. brightened and now the image is hovering in space here yep so if we can get this image in focus oh, I gotta pull it back a little. maybe closer oh well I think it's good okay Yep. What's going to happen is this lens, our magnifying lens, is going to magnify this image. So okay. if you want to come around to this side, yep. and I'll pull out this piece of paper, okay. and if you want to see the image yep. right now, yep. and then if I pull it out, you should look through here, through here, and here. Okay. Whoops. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Awesome. So we have a magnified, brightened right. image. 
Got it. Okay, so that's how a telescope works. So all these components are essentially inside the tube right. of a telescope, so right? So all we have to do is take a tube and, and just collapse it. it. Wow, that's excellent. But this is only for one type of telescope. Right. See, there is another type of telescope, which is called the reflector telescope. With the mirror. With the mirror. Okay. And people use mirrors because um, you can get really, really big telescopes with mirrors. You can get a bigger mirror. Rather than a big piece of glass, mm -hmm. right? And it's okay. more cost effective okay, that Okay, that way. makes sense. Yep. So we're going to start off with our mirror. And if you notice, the mirror, here you can feel the mirror. Yep. Mm-hmm. And the mirror is similar to the pieces of glass. It's, oh. it's curved. It is so curved. I see it. Yep. Get mm -hmm. that light to that one point. Okay. So we want to find that. So if you want to put it on the end there. Uh, down here? Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Got it. And then if you want to move it into focus until the image projects on here. All right. So I can just, I see the image now. Right. But it looks upside down. Right. Because it's using a mirror. Uh. So okay. now the light is coming from here to here to here. Bouncing. But if we wanted to view it, you'd have to go like that, and we'd encounter a problem if you hadn't noticed. We, in, if we try looking at the image, yep. it gets blocked. So what? By your head. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> so, ah, we, so you need another mirror. Exactly. Oh, wow. Okay. So what we can do is um, we put a little tiny mirror on. Yep. And then we can add a lens. Oh, my. Okay. And then we'll view it through here. Hit the secondary mirror, and it'll all work. And then that's how we have our reflect, er, reflector telescope like this. Wow. Okay. That's amazing. Well, you know, I never really understood. You know, when I was a kid and looked at the stars through that little scope, I didn't really know what was inside. So that's really interesting. Now, if people want to buy a telescope, it's a family. Maybe they're just getting into looking at the stars. Do you have any tips? Well, it depends on really what you want to um, be doing with this telescope because if you're interested in looking at celestial objects in the sky, it's a good idea to get a reflector telescope because it's um, more cost effective yep. and it's a you can get a bigger lens okay. for a cheaper price than okay. is getting a bigger piece of glass. Yep. Um, yep. But let, let's say you want to look at birds. Mm. Well, you would want to use a refractor because I don't the, want to look at upside down exactly. birds, right? <laughs> you like this? Okay. And um, I, probably a good idea is if people can hook up with an ast a local astronomy club mm -hmm. or come to a plan one of the local planetariums. And, and by doing that, you can just get an idea for what you want. And, and look in probably several of them exactly. as well. Exactly. Okay. Well, Sarah, this was really interesting to me. Thank you so much because now I have a much better understanding of how a telescope works. Thank you. Thank you. Up next... Evie finds out why the Kepler telescope takes a different approach to stargazing. Taking pictures is a great way to experience and share nature. If you'd like to share your nature pictures with us, go to the Outdoor Elements webpage and click on the Gallery tab to find out how you can submit your pictures. It's just part of the many things you can experience on the Outdoor Elements webpage.